all right guys welcome to this video in this video we're gonna learn today how do we integrate our get response account to our WordPress all right so let's suppose this is my WordPress website and I want to have one sign up form over here how do we put a sign up form inside this sidebar or maybe inside the text and how do we integrate our email marketing software in our case which is get response so how do we link our get response to our wordpress website we're gonna look into this video so let's start so first of all you need to log into your get response account and once you are there you need to go to this your current campaign all right and then you need to click on this drop down button and click on create campaign once you create once you click on create campaign, it will ask for a campaign name. So just write in any campaign name. Let's suppose for this video purpose, I'm going to write demo purpose campaign. Now, once I create the campaign, it will give me an error. I'll explain what the error would be. See, the error says campaign name must be between 3 to 64 characters only a to z lowercase numbers and underscore so as we had reused a couple of caps so it gave me an error so now i'll i'll use all the lowercase numbers all the lowercase letters and the sign if i want to use would be an underscore so let's suppose i'll once again name it as demo purpose campaign all with lowercase and now if I click on create campaign, it would be a successful campaign name. So it will give you a message like, well done, your campaign was successfully created. So now you have successfully created your campaign. Now within this campaign, you will change a couple of settings. So you click on edit campaign settings over there. And then you will have three options, general, profile and permission. Inside this general, which is the first option, you will put off this notification as off because you don't want any subscriber notification on your email. Now it depends on you if you want to have notification for each and every single individual subscriber then you can have it as on. For this as well if you want your address to be posted on each and every email which you send to your subscriber you can have it on. Generally I do a practice of all this as off. The second option is profile. You don't have to change anything over here straight away go to permission. In this permission, now these three options are for single opt-in or double opt-in. Just remember, if you have all these three box checked like this, the one which you are seeing, it means that you're going to have double opt-in. And if you uncheck all these three, then you will have single opt-in. So for this demo purpose, we're going to have single opt-in. And then if you want to have double opt-in, in that case, you can have your settings for your confirmation message over here. You can also change your confirmation message. You can customize it over here by clicking on that. You can select all these templates by default, whatever you want. All right. And you can also change this from field. Your subscriber would get an email. You can change the from address over here and you can change the reply to address by clicking over here. You can also change the message subject name from here or you can have your custom subject. So as of now, we don't have any double opt-in. We'll be going with single opt-in. So we'll not have any of this. As we scroll down, we'll have the option of confirmation page. Let's suppose you want a different thank you page than what is by default given by GetResponse. All right, so this is the by default thank you page of GetResponse, which would be shown when a customer or a subscriber subscribes to your email list or opt-in form. So we will get a message something like if you preview you will be able to see the message which get response will give as a thank you page it would say the first name of the subscriber and it would say thank you for subscribing and something like this so if you want to create your custom thank you page you can create it within your wordpress and then take the url and put it over here so the confirmation page is the page your subscriber sees after he confirms his email address by clicking on the link in the message for the time being, we would be selecting hosted by get response for this demo purpose. And that's it. You have successfully updated 
all your campaign settings. So now what you're going to do is just make sure that your current campaign is the one which you have created recently and then go into the form and click on create form. Once you click on create form, you will have four options when you will have to create one form. So you will have to select this list builder wizard and it will load up a couple of templates over here for your form building. So let's just wait for the templates to load up on. Let me, let me just refresh the page. Maybe there is some problem with get response. So the templates are taking time, I guess. So what we can do is instead of taking this by default template, we can also go into this plain HTML editor. All right. So instead of taking the by default templates, which you're going to see over here, once they get loaded, we can also have this plain HTML editor, which will have only one template by default. So if you want this one, then let's have this one. Let's have this plain form editor. All right. Now let's suppose I want name, email, and phone number as the field. So I'll click on this phone number and it will be inserted over here. But for the demo purpose, I'll just keep it as name and email. So you can add number of fields from over here. You just have to select and it will be inserted to your form. Then let's suppose I want this form to be inserted over here on this sidebar. So what I'll do is, what I'll do is, I'll select the entire form, I'll copy it and paste it, some, paste it somewhere in the notepad file. Once I do that, let's see all right. So now luckily, the templates have been uploaded so let's go for this one so it looks nicer so let's click on this one if we click on this one it will be having our web form over here but now if you see this is a particular size now what if you want a size for this sidebar only so get response gives gives you that option as well so if we go back once again to the template page, and see this select format, then we can have this all format, side column, wide, wider, max, square. So for this one, we'll select side column. All right, and let's go for the template which we had selected previously. it's working so once you select the side column all right all right so it will give you an option of use template so once you click on it it will load and then there you have 
you will have this format over here. Now for this form, you can also select your heading and change it to something like, let's suppose this web form is for my newsletter. So I write something like never miss a single post. And then you can also have this text change, your submit button change. Let's suppose subscribe. I'll write subscribe over here. And that's it. Let's suppose I want to insert this web form inside my WordPress on this sidebar. So once I create this one, I'll simply click on, I'll hold this save and publish which is blue in color and then I'll click on save and publish. And that's it. So now we are done with this get response dashboard. So now we'll go into our WordPress panel. Log into your WordPress panel and then you'll have to install one plugin. Go inside plugin, click on add new, then over here search for a plugin name get response integration version 2.2.2 and hit enter. So it will give you this option. Just install the plugin from get response. And once it gets installed, just click on Activate Plugin. And that's it. Now go to Settings. And you will have this entry of Get Response. So click on Get Response. And it will ask you for an API key. All right. Now how to get this API key? You once again go to your get response account and on the top you will have my account. If you go to this my account you will have something like integration. Just click on integration and over here click on API and OAuth. So this is your secret API key. So just copy to clipboard or you can also select the entire thing and copy this. Go into WordPress and paste it and click save. That's it. This is done. Now you don't have to once again click on save. Don't click on save. It is already being saved. Alright. So now everything is done. Now you want to insert that widget or that form over here. So go to your WordPress appearance widget and you will have something like this get response web form all right let me just remove this because it is already been added to my account so now you will have something like this or maybe some other part of area the only thing which you need to take care of is you need to drag and drop this get response wherever you want to insert that form so let's suppose I want that form right below this search bar and I'll put this drag and drop right below this search bar and I select the web form which I just created. I select a campaign. So for me, my campaign was demo purpose campaign. So I select the campaign and I'll click save. And that's it. Let's refresh this page and it should come over here. The form would come over here right below this search bar. There you go. You have successfully installed your web form in your WordPress. Now let's suppose you want to check. Let's check for this entry if it is working and if it is properly linked with get response. Then what you need to do is just insert an email. one dummy email and just check this out click subscribe see it's working it's giving sub subscribe so it is working that's it now if you want to see whether you have got this entry inside your contact or not just go to contacts and click on search contacts click on view all contacts select your campaign which was demo purpose campaign 
and click on search. So there you go. You have started building your list. So that's it. So this is how you integrate your get response account to your WordPress website and you build your list and integrate your form. Hope this gives you insight and if you do not follow this then watch it over and over, over and over. Alright? So watch it again and again and you will definitely crack it. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.